thank you for joining me. You are uh, following along if you are uh, ready to create the Earth Day poster in PowerPoint Online. So Earth Day is uh, Wednesday, April 22nd, and this year is actually its 50th anniversary. Um, it was started as a way to help people become more informed about environmental issues. So um, I thought this would be the perfect time to use PowerPoint Online to make a poster to promote or celebrate one of um, Earth Day's themes. So on the direction file, I have lots of suggestions of themes for you. You could make a poster about encouraging recycling or planting trees or reducing pollution or conserving water or reducing energy use or cleaning up an area in your neighborhood or maybe reducing the use of single-use plastics or buying items that are made with recyclable materials or unplugging cords when they're not in use or using non-toxic cleaners. Uh, and then there's lots more. So uh, if any of these ideas appeal to you or if you have your own, uh, feel free to, to pick your own Earth Day or environmental type of theme for your topic. All right, some tips before we start. Um, the pictures that you choose for your poster must be available for reuse. So uh, when you're using PowerPoint online, they already are checked for uh, Creative Commons, it's called, so we're allowed to use those. If you're using Google to search for images, make sure you go to Tools and choose the option that says Label for Reuse. And I will show you in this tutorial what I mean by that. Um, and also make sure that picture that you choose does not have a watermark on it. A watermark is a, like a grayed out type of an image that the designer of an image or a photographer might put on there to uh, prevent it from being reused without permission. Um, you're going to make sure you add some text boxes in there and I'll show you how to change the font to make it look interesting. And you can look for ideas for a poster online, but please do not copy one. I will be looking for a collection of images and shapes and text boxes, not just one big copied poster. All right, let's begin. Uh, oh, before we begin, there are some examples on the direction page. So if you're kind of not sure what, what this should look like, mm -hmm. um, make sure you open up the directions. All right, let's start by going to Rapid Identity. On Rapid Identity, I'd like you to find the Office 365 tile and click it. And it takes you straight to our Microsoft 365 area and you have a couple of pathway choices. You may go to your OneDrive and start from your PowerPoint projects folder or a folder that you use to, to save these files or you can go straight from PowerPoint here. So today I'm going to click the PowerPoint tile. All right, and now we're going to click New Blank Presentation. The page will load. And in the top center of the page, let's give this a new name. So I'm going to call it Earth Day Poster. All right, and we are going to make sure that our simplified ribbon is turned off. So you know it's off if it's in the left-hand position here. And that way your tabs look just like mine. All right, on the Home tab, let's start by changing the layout. The layout are these content boxes on the page, and it automatically gave us a title page. But of course, we are going to change that. So please go to Layout, and I'd like you to click Blank Layout, and then Change Layout. There we go. We have a nice blank page. Next, we're going to go to the Design tab. And on the Design tab, towards the right, please find the button that says Slide Size. And we're going to choose Custom Slide Size. Our posters are going to be Portrait, Vertical, and we're going to make the size of a standard sheet of paper. So the width will be 8.5, so I'm just going to type 8.5, and the height will be 11. So in the custom slide size box, we put width 8.5, height 11, and we click the portrait button and click OK. It's asking for the scale on the next uh, box, and we're going to choose Ensure Fit. That way everything's on the page. All right, and since we're on the Design tab, the next step is just to change our background. We're going to do that right from here. Um, I would like you to avoid using any of the built-in themes and I'd like you to go to Format Background. And please choose a solid fill. 
Some of you might be tempted to use a picture fill, but for this type of a project, a picture background would just be um, overwhelming and it might hide from the message. Now, if you have a picture that is not overwhelming, uh, you could try it and maybe send it to me and, and I can share some feedback with you. But for, for most of you, a solid fill will be perfect. So I'm just going to choose blue for now. Of course, you can always change this uh, in the future. All right, now we're going to move to the Insert tab. On the Insert tab, you're going to be looking at pictures, shapes, icons, and text boxes. Let's start with pictures. I'm going to choose to find a picture online using Bing Pictures. All right, and I'm going to search for an earth clip art. I suggest adding the name uh, the word clip art to your search so you get a, a drawing cartoon type of an image. And I'm going to choose this guy. I like this little earth here and choose insert. Now you'll notice it already says Creative Commons only. Okay. Now if I was using a regular Google search, let me show you that, and I would go to earth clip art. Click on images. To make sure that it's safe for me to reuse, I would go to tools and under usage rights choose labeled for reuse. That means I am allowed to use those. Okay. All right, let's go back to PowerPoint online. I'm going to insert that earth. I like it. All right, and you'll notice when we have a, an image, a new image, we've got a new tab called the format tab. And we've got some options. We can add uh, some style, we can add a frame to it. We can change the color of the picture border. We can bring it forward and backward. This doesn't make sense just yet because the earth is by itself, but we'll use this in a moment. And then this is probably my favorite tool that you can't really tell. It's called the align tool. This tool helps you align things. So I'm gonna choose it to align things in the center and align in the middle. So it automatically puts it directly in the middle of my poster. All right, now I'm gonna add another image because remember this project, you're gonna use several images. And let's look for a recycle clip art. I'm going to make mine about recycling. Let's choose this one. All right, now that this image has loaded, you'll notice that an extra text box came along with it. And oftentimes this happens in Microsoft products online. It automatically gives us the source box, which is um, a nice thing to have. However, we do not need it in this project. So I'm going to click in this source text box and then click on the edge of it, the border line around it, and press the delete key or the backspace key. All right, so now I'm gonna adjust my image and I'm gonna use the format tab to get it centered. Now your images don't have to be centered. I'm just uh, giving you some examples of some of these tools. All right, after you've uh, loaded the pictures that you like, return to the insert tab and I'd like you to try at least one shape. I'm going to show you the example of using a rectangle to appear as a border. When shapes are added, they're automatically this default blue color. But with the Format tab, we can change it. You can change the shape, the fill, to white. You can change it to any color you want, but for this example, for mine, I'm going to choose it to change it to No Fill. That way it's clear on the inside, but I am going to change the shape outline. So with every shape, you can change the fill and the outline. So for my example right now, I'm going to make it a white outline and I'm going to come down to the weight option and make it a little thicker. And also on shape outline, you can, uh, you have some other options like dashes and sketch lines. I'm gonna use the dots. So feel free to use uh, any of the shapes and then change the, the look of those shapes with the shape fill and shape outline. There's a lot of them. Um, if you choose a shape and you want it behind uh, another image on the page. Let me show you that example. We're going to use the send backward button. So you can send backward or you can send to back. Okay. And this send backward and bring forward button works for images, shapes, icons, text boxes, anything. Okay. So I'll be looking for some kind of shape. Next I'd like you to, sh to show you the icons. Those are miniature little cartoon drawing items that are built in to PowerPoint online. So you can look for, you can search for an item that matches your theme. I'm going to use this little one here. 
All right, I'm gonna drag it to the upper right so you can see it. And now with icons, they also have a format tab. So you can change the color. I'll make this one green. And then you can change the layering of it also. So you might find several icons that you like. All right, and the last thing on the insert tab I'd like to show you is the text box. So click insert text box and it will load to the center. I'm gonna drag it to the upper left so you can see it. All right, it's pretty plain text. So you can use the mini toolbar or you can use the home tab to change the text style. Uh, feel free to use anything but not Comic Sans, please, <laughs> or uh, any symbols fonts. So find a font that you like and let's make it nice and big because we want your, pes your poster message or your theme to be very obvious and clear. So we want nice big font. We don't want paragraphs of information. We just want clear font with clear ideas. So you can add several text boxes to go with your message. I could put one at the top and one at the bottom. So I could continue to work on this, but um, this is where I'm going to pause and show you how to finish it. So when you feel like your poster is done, we're going to do a new step this time, we're going to save it uh, as a PDF. So to do that, we're going to go to the File tab and come down to Download As. And we're going to choose Download As PDF. The benefit of doing this is it will save in your Chromebook files as a PDF, which should make it really easy to turn in. So we're going to click Download. It's downloading on the computer. And then I'd like you to go to Google Classroom, find the assignment for the Earth Day poster, and click Add or Create, and then choose the option to upload a file from your device, and then find this PDF. And it should have the same name that we created at the top. Alrighty, can't wait to see your Earth Day posters, and thanks for listening.